Hi, I'm Tree and this is Stitchless TV. Now as you can tell by the music and the Christmas tree, it's Christmas! In this video today, I'm going to show you a little bit of Christmas magic. Now have you seen around in the shops how they've got lots of these sort of multi-coloured fur jackets and bags? Now I was thinking, could you use your scraps to recreate that sort of look? And do you know what? You can. Now everybody's got a few scraps of uh, fur lying around at home, haven't they? And so long as you use a blade, which we're always talking about on Stitches TV, but be very careful. So long as you use a blade, you can get this very effective overhang when you cut your fur. Now I think that if we put pieces of fur together with the pile going the same way, it should be fairly easy to create a kind of multi-coloured sort of fur look. So to begin with, I think I'm going to start with the biggest piece, which is this piece. So if I turn that over, and making sure that our pile is going the right way, okay? Because we want that fur, that fur line, to overlap this fur line. So if I cut those to the same sort of size using a blade, then I think that that will be a good start. So let's do that first of all. Now, when we sew fur, which I've also talked about before, all of your pile has to be really, really pushed in. So I'm gonna push it all in, and your seam allowance must be very small because you don't want to squash that fur. Now, it's really difficult to do a straight line really close to an edge because it moves around and the, the fabric kind of gets sucked down. But I find if you do a zigzag or use an overlocker, then that works really well. So my sewing machine is set to zigzag. You can use an overlocker. I'm lining up the backing fabrics, okay? And I'm gonna zigzag along the edge. So my zigzag is sort of quite close together so we don't get gaps in the stitching. Push your pile in all the way along. Can you see? Now, do go backwards and forwards at the end. So the wrong side is all zigzagged, but look at the right side. Look at that, that's fantastic. Okay, because I can see some sort of rectangle starting to happen here, I'm gonna go for it and cut my scraps into even smaller scraps, which I think is quite brave of me. Now I'm not looking for anything particularly symmetrical, but I, I do think I want to make a great big rectangle. So I'm going to add that onto there and do exactly the same thing as we did before. So if I flip it over, then I can see how much I need. I'm going to go beyond there so I can then straighten that off. And I'll cut this in line with this. And hopefully, when I squash all that pile back, put that together, do exactly the same thing, zigzag along that edge, and then that will look pretty good too. Okay, now I started out wanting to make it all kind of random, but um, oh, I did that getting carried away thing, and um, it's a bit more controlled. It's ended up being like some sort of V which could be an L. Oh my God, it could be an L and then you could do an O and a V. Okay, so I want to know what you would do using this sort of technique. Remember, it can be all different 
types of fur. The only rule that you need to stick to is that whole thing of the pile going down so you get the overhang where the join is. And you cut with a blade and you do zigzag stitch when you sew them together. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this very nice, <laughs> very nice coat behind me. Well, I thought I'd make a coordinating bag to go with that. Do you think that'd be any good? Do you want a closer look at it? It's supposed to be inspired by Gucci. Gucci, a lot of Gucci around and hence the Gucci stripes. It's a flowery sort of crushed velvet and I, I'm still working on it. I haven't finished the collar yet and the hem and the hem of the sleeves but do you like it? I know it looks a bit like a sort of lounge dressing gown but that's a bit of a look at the moment. It's based, oh yeah, it's based on this. My sculptural bucket coat pattern but I've done it in a floppy fabric. In the actual Gucci lounge coats that I have seen, they've put a bit of fur on the cuffs at the bottom like that. So can you tell me if you think that I should do that or not? So, happy Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Otherwise, have a really nice break. Now, we have done many other Christmas or Vlogmas uh, videos, so I'm going to put I'm going to put some links at the end of the film, so you can go back and see those. Because last Christmas we were on BBC Radio, and you get to see all the Christmas lights from last year. Anyway, if you want to give me a Christmas present, which would be nice. Can you do me a favour? If you already subscribe to Stitchless TV, can you go back and check that you clicked on that bell? Because the new way with YouTube is that you don't get notified about my new films unless you click on that bell. And I think a lot of you have missed out on about two years worth of films. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below, tell me what you would do with your pieces of fur and if I should put it on my Gucci jacket. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye, happy Christmas.